Greetings and welcome back to the workshop. Except we're not in the workshop. We are at the Leyland Society of Model Engineers and today we're going to get a steam engine out and have some fun. First, we need to get it out. And this is our engine, a man in model named Anna. And this is the latest addition to the fleet of locomotives at the Leyland Society of Model Engineers. It was built by one of our members here many years ago to the Dag Brown design and with some slight modifications, mainly in the cab area, to put their own spin on it. And I think it looks absolutely splendid. A team of us recently, including myself, have just given this a light restoration to get it back in service and back up and running. And today we're gonna to fire it up and take it out for a bit of fun on the track. And that all starts with cleaning the tubes out. So to begin with, we'll give a quick check in the firebox to make sure it's empty, clear, and there's no leakages coming from the tubes, which this is all looking absolutely splendid and there's no problems at all. Next, we'll open up the smoke box and we will begin cleaning the tubes. It's quite restricted in this smoke box because it's not got a conventional smoke box door. It's got the very early man in Wardle style smoke box door. It's uh, quite restrictive to get in with the tube brush. So we need to make sure that we shut up the smoke box door as tight as possible so it is sealed as good as possible so it can create a vacuum. It can draw the fire and the heat through the tubes and up the chimney, giving it a good draw. Yeah. And while we're at the front here, we will top up the lubricator, which is hiding underneath this little plate. The cylinder oil that we're putting in here is just normal 680. Now to fill the boiler we're going to go through the blowdown valve here and we're just going to push this pipe on. Now as this is a copper boiler we don't need any boiler treatment in. So we shall open that. Now 
Now to begin filling the boiler. And we can see the water coming up the glass there. And that for this, this is sufficient because obviously the water will expand. So that's perfect for firing. So we'll just run through everything here on the back head. Obviously, we'll start from the top. We've got the, the whistle valve here, the rather small pressure gauge, the two safety valves are here, which is quite exciting when they go off in your face. The blower is here, our regulator, our two gauge glasses, our two gauge glasses blowdown valves are here and here. The reverser, these two valves here and here are for water on for the injectors and these two valves here are the steam for the injectors. This lever is for the drain cocks on the cylinders and then we have a bypass valve that goes to an axle pump to fill the boiler from the axle pump which we won't be using and obviously our firebox door where we will be shoving the fire. We have the locomotive handbrake and the tender has air brakes which can also be connected to the train and be controlled via valve here. So this is the control valve for the air brakes. It's a simple brakes on, brakes off. Two injectors are here just below the controls for them. Right, so before we put the charcoal in, we'll just put the blower on. Obviously, to get the locomotive up in steam, you've got to give it a little bit of assistance with the flow of air. So to start our fire, we uh, use a preferred mix of charcoal and paraffin. So we'll just load the firebox up. Right, we'll get the fire lit now. And turn the blower on, and you'll see the flames sucked back through. So while the charcoal gets going, we shall uh, fill it up with water. So the charcoal's burning quite nicely, we'll chuck a bit of coal on I think. So while the pressure is building, we'll uh, go around and oil it up. Now this being inside valve gear is uh, making it very tricky to oil up. So I can't get the camera in, but trust me, there is lots of oiling points on all the eccentrics. So we've got plenty of areas to fill, lots of little caps. These all have holes that go down and come out of the crosshead. Right, so the pressure is now suitable for us to take the electric blower off and go to the steam blower.
this will speed things up dramatically as soon as it goes onto a steam blower its own blower should I say uh, it seems to steam up rather quickly we'll soon be out on the track so she should just be about to blow off and then we'll test the safety valves So that's the nearest one. So to test the service one, which is set slightly delayed, we'll uh, just hold that one down and hopefully the other one will go off. Which it does. And they cut off fine as you can see it's set slightly different to our pressure gauge at the moment because we're just testing it on a lower pressure and then if we're happy we'll adjust the gauge with the blowing off we will do a injector test get the right one That one works. Check the other one. Yeah. And that one works. We are good to go. Right, with the steam, we'll get the water out the cylinders. So with the locomotive now turned, we should go and get a couple of carriages 
and head out on the track. got to check the track that's coming on towards us, behind us, let's say. <laughs> Such an easy locomotive to drive, you know, with all its quirks. It's a bit rough around the edges and such. It's an absolute beautiful local to drive. Come over the brow here. Get the injector on. Whistle up around the corner. We're on the downhill stretch here. Onto the flat. It's absolutely brilliant. Everything just, just goes. It's even better once it's got a full load of passengers on. We come around the corner. Quick check behind us, nothing coming behind us. Knock the injector off and open the regulator. This is the steepest part of the railway. You know, we've got about a maximum speed of about five mile an hour, eight mile an hour, something like that. It's a nice length, it's, it's over a kilometre long the railway here. We're coming up over the brow again, top of the hill. Put the, put the regulator in and roll down. And again, put the injector on. The injector's on for the roll down the hill. At the moment, we're just using the handbrake. Glorious day today. Down the curve, look over at the station to make sure that we're clear to come in. Put the injector off. And 
little bit of regulator. Rolls downhill here a bit. Through the trees. Love this bit. And back on the rear, back on the regulator. For the curve back to the station. Approach the station here. Give a little uh, toot on the whistle. Slowly roll into the station. That's the thing when you have a nice, beautiful day like today, there's nothing better than coming out on a, on a lovely miniature steam engine, especially on the seven and a quarter. And believe it or not, this loco is quite roomy in the tender. It's quite comfortable. Absolutely splendid. the hill again. Yeah, it's quite steep this bit, especially with its S-bends as well. You're going uphill and it's an S-bend. over the brown, cut the, cut the regulator, let her roll, touch of the brake, the injector on again. Pass the train on the other side. <laughs> glorious. Absolutely glorious. This is this is just amazing. Amazing fun.
only thing we're missing here is an ice cold beer or a lovely ice cream. And there we are. Man in Waterlanna. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, the guy who originally built this actually was building two and never completed the second one. I wonder what happened to those parts. I'll see you in the next episode. Ladies.